Hey! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Erica. Welcome and I'm excited for today. I'm just going to do some cooking um, in today's video and Sayla's going to help me. We're going to make two of their favorite snacks, which one of them. <laughs> my son is being a cat. <laughs> so if you hear me on that's what he's doing. You're silly. Anyways, so we're going to cook um, two of their favorite snacks. One of them is spinach muffins, which is amazing and so yummy I could even eat them um, and then another one of them is their favorite little animal crackers that are you know homemade and not as much sugar for them like I said for them I am not doing a whole 30 for them um, but yes sorry <laughs> he's very busy they both just woke up for nap and then we're gonna get um, started with um, we're gonna do some salmon patties, salmon cakes, whatever you want to call them, with fried rice, cauliflower rice tonight for dinner. Well, I hope you enjoy today's video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and um, let me know if you like the. You want to say hi to? Okay, say one time, okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> there you go. You're getting so big too, huh? Well, again, if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up so I know to create more meal prepping ideas um, that you Hi. would like. <laughs> and then um, just uh, follow me along and don't forget to subscribe so you get notifications for when I have new videos coming up. Thanks for watching today, guys, and enjoy. All right, so the first thing, we're gonna make um, animal crackers and the spinach muffins first. Oh no, what? Okay, you're good. Um, animal crackers and spinach muffins first. So what we'll do, um, you need oat flour. And how I do that, instead of buying oat flour because it can be very expensive, you can just get oats and blend it up in the blender. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Crack them in here. No. Stand up all the way. Can you crack them? You don't want to crack them? No. They'll get my hand again. Yeah, I don't want to get my hand. Well, we can always wash them. Okay. So the spinach ref muffin recipe calls for. One half cup of spinach, one banana, two large eggs, one fourth cup of oat flour, one half teaspoon of cinnamon, and one half teaspoon of baking powder. But for this recipe, I doubled it. So that's why you see four eggs and two bananas in there. Now I just got all our things yep. that we just got it. Yay. So we just done it. So bye. <laughs> what is this? What um, are we making? Snacks. Yeah, but what are these ones? Do you remember? No. Are these spinach muffins? Yeah. Okay. Let's So it's empty and then it's magically full again. So I actually ended up making another batch, but I didn't double up this in this blender recipe right there. I just did one. So now we're gonna put it in the oven for about 17 minutes. We need one and three fourths cup of oat flour. Okay, so let's make sure we get this. Definitely need the exact amount. Okay, so dump that into the bowl. In the bowl. Okay. Cool, good 
Good job. Okay, now there's three fourths. And for the animal crackers, you will need one, one and three fourths cup oat flour, one half cup sweetener, one fourth teaspoon salt, one half teaspoon baking soda, one half teaspoon baking powder, one fourth cup applesauce, and one fourth cup of honey, and one teaspoon of vanilla. And so you just stir it until it forms into a ball. And you don't want it sticky, so if it's sticky, then you want to add more oat flour into it. And then you roll it out. Um, you can do it on parchment paper. I just put flour on the counter. Um, and so I didn't do that. And then you can use a rolling pin or a cup. Sometimes I'll use a cup, but I just use my hands to push it down. <laughs> my dough was kind of sticky today, so I'm not sure why, um, what I did wrong there. But I mean, it still worked out and they turned out really cute. And this is the finished product of the spinach muffins. And then we finished cutting out the um, animal crackers. We also did numbers um, and that was fun for Sayla to get to do that as well. So that's what they look like and I'm going to, they bake for seven to 10 minutes and then you pull them out and let them cool off. Um, but this is what they look like when they are finished. kitchen cleanup, the dishes done, oh. um, and then now we are going to cook the salmon patties for dinner tonight and the fried cauliflower as well. What are these? It's fish. So 
for the salmon patties, you will um, heat up the onions and the olive oil and the garlic until they are soft. Um, and then while they are cooking in, um, on the sauteing on the stove, I am mixing up the salmon cake recipe, which I used canned salmon because um, I didn't, I don't know, I just wasn't confident in cooking real fish and then deboning it, that just didn't sound like something I would enjoy. So um, we just used canned um, salmon and I doubled this recipe too, but I wanted to be able to freeze it and have it for lunches um, throughout this month or the next couple of months. So you'll just use um, one pound of fresh salmon or two to six ounces of salmon and then we will also use some sea salt and black pepper, um, onion and garlic which you saw me sauteing and then so I put avocado oil in the saute pan and then you will do one fourth cup plus two tablespoons of almond flour and then you optional you can do seafood seasoning I did not use that um, and then you can do paleo mayo for um, in there and then you're going to do coconut aminos and then Dijon mustard salt and pepper two eggs and then parsley and um, it was really good we enjoyed this recipe After you mix it all together, you will just scoop it into little balls and kind of pat it down. Um, but then I realized that I have scoops and it would be way easier just to get them all the same size. And so that's what I ended up doing is using my large like cookie scoop um, to finish it off.
So then you let them cook. It actually cooks pretty quickly on each side. It doesn't take super long, um, but you'll cook them and flip them. And then I realized after this uh, first batch, my camera battery died. So um, you don't see me finish making these, um, but then you do get to see me making the cauliflower rice next after this. So um, for the cauliflower rice, you will start off by doing the onions and the carrots and um, cooking it in the ghee. So that is butter. Um, and so while that gets tender, you can mix up the rest of the ingredients. Um, my husband actually did this part for me. He had all the seasonings in the glass um, uh, cup right there. And so um, that was helpful for um, him to do that for me but this recipe is one tablespoon of ghee and then one red onion four medium carrots shredded we just diced it up um, ten cloves of garlic and then three heads of cauliflower but we did frozen bags so um, it's just like three bags of cauliflower rice one and a half teaspoon onion powder three four teaspoon ground ginger one and one fourth teaspoon black pepper, one and one fourth teaspoon of sea salt, and one third cup coconut aminos. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, and then one tablespoon apple cider vinegar. And again, I didn't do a, like a fish sauce in this. You can do that, but I wasn't sure if I would like that. And then um, you can also put eggs in there, but we did not put eggs in there either. Um, so then you could add fresh parsley or 
green onion for the topping. But that is it for today's video. I hope you liked it. And if you try any of these recipes at home, please tag me on Instagram so we can see your creations of these recipes as well. Again, thanks for watching today's video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to my videos so you can see more of our videos that we make.